Okay, the Haber process. Here he is. This is Fritz. Fritz Haber. Haber. Haber Haber. Whichever one you wish to call him. Uh, however you wish to say it. Um, now, he came up with this fantastic process to make ammonia, which we can then use to make fertilizer. He went on then and he did, made chlorine gas and killed lots of people, but we, we're not about that. We're talking about how the fantastic uh, way he made ammonia. Now, there's a foundation tier and a higher tier to this. This is, to this, this is foundation, okay? Now, this is the equation. So we've got nitrogen gas plus three hydrogen gases makes ammonia and this symbol here you'll recognize is reversible if you don't go and watch the one on reversible before you start okay so it goes in both ways now we need to get hold of our nitrogen first so what they did was fractionally distill air now you might you'd have done this in core science fractional distillation it's about separating things about um chemicals alkanes it was in those days and it was about their melting, uh, boiling point, sorry. So they heated them up and um, because of their different boiling points, they were able to separate them. So fractional distillation is about separating air into all its different uh, components, oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide. So they get the nitrogen off like that. And the hydrogen comes from natural gas because also in that topic in year 10, we not learned about um, gas, which is, uh, you could have CH4, that's sort of a methane, and it comes from there. So they get our uh, hydrogen from natural gas and nitrogen from fractional distillation of air. And they put it in this machine here. So in it goes into the reactor. Now you need a catalyst to speed up the reaction. And in this case, the catalyst is um, iron. Let's put that in, iron. iron. And a temperature we're going to have at 200 degrees centigrade. I mean, not 450. Let's make it, you know, it makes sense. 450 degrees centigrade. And a pressure of 200 atmospheres. Now, don't worry about what they are. Just think of them as centimeters or meters. These are atmospheres. They're a unit of uh, measurement of pressure. So we shove it in here, heat it all up, 450 degrees, sort of pressure, 200 atmospheres, and they react together. The nitrogen and hydrogen react together to form ammonia. It all goes in here. They're all gases, so they're all floating around in here. So it has to cool it down. And by cooling it all down, this one, the ammonia, turns into a liquid first, and the other two stay as gases. So because it's a liquid, I can just turn a little tap and drain off all the ammonia and the nitrogen and hydrogen gas is floating about merrily up here. The nitrogen and hydrogen are then fed all the way back into the reactor and they um, are left to react again. So they are recycled, pumped in with more hydrogen and nitrogen and it keeps going. Not all the nitrogen and hydrogen is going to make ammonia all the time because it's reversible. So it's going forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards all the time. Now for the higher tier bit here, so we need to know why we've chosen those temperatures. So we said that it was 450 degrees. Now I could whack up the temperature. Can you imagine the rate of reaction here? Look at this. Woo, speeding around. Huge rate of reaction at 450. Problem is, this side here, don't like heat. I don't like it. It's exothermic this way. So it'd rather go this way. So all the ammonia you're making by colliding them really quickly is breaking down to nitrogen and hydrogen. No good at all. So I have to slow, lower the temperature, lower it down, lower it down, so that we can encourage it to go this way, shifting the equilibrium this way. We lower it down. If we lower it right down, really, really low, 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 we can make loads because it'll love it over this side, but it's so slow that it's just not worth it. So they have to come up to a compromise of 450. So it's a compromise with it being fast enough and just about right amount. So about 28% of the product is this. The other one is pressure. We need 200 atmospheres of pressure. Uh, we increase the pressure. We make we shift the equilibrium this way. That's because, look, all the particles here, they're closer together. We've only formed two molecules here, whereas on this side, we've got four. So they're closer together. So the pressure favors this side because there are two molecules on this side and four on this side. OK, so we whack up the pressure. Not too much, though, because it's pretty dangerous. OK, so we've got to come at reasonable sort of pressure that is worthwhile, economical, not dangerous, and it favors this two 